Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. So it has been a while since uh, we released a new version of the Revit plugin and we have given you updates. So we have three major features that we just have been working on um, and they're very close to be released. And I thought I should give you a preview of what what's coming and get some feedback as we're working on the last few things uh, to get it done. And I'll mention those during the video, like why why it's not out there yet. But uh, these are the three uh, major improvements. One is, <coughs> excuse me, rooms, spaces, areas with slanted roofs now can be exported using the extruded mode. Why is it important? Because it's faster, you don't need all the cleanup, and it is editable. It's easier to edit, which becomes important when I talk about the third item. Now you can save your cleaned up model in Revit as a snapshots. That means you don't have to go through all the process every single time. So you clean up once and you click a couple of floors or one floor, you can save it as a snapshot and then load it in this 2D editor that we call, um, it's kind of model a snapshot editor. We call it model editor. If you have better name, let me know. This is the right time. Um, I have named so many things wrong in my life. So yeah, so it's easier, faster than Revit and it minimizes the need for editing model later in Rhino. These are the two points. So it's fast, it's inside Revit and you don't have to go to Rhino if you don't know Rhino. Uh, so this is the first one you see like here, I'm setting level two to detail two. This is the Revit sample model. Um, they assume everyone knows already. And this is what you get. You can see all this uh, height are set to 6,000. I'm going to do a live demo on this so you'll see how it works. Then uh, when you get to the last step now, there is an option for a snapshot. And then uh, you get the snapshot, save it. You say, what's the snapshot? What's the description? And then you can use this snapshot manager to find all the snapshots that you had. You can directly export them if you want or you can edit them and when you click on this edit something like this opens up it's a snapshot editor or model a snapshot editor technically and you can do a lot of editing we have many commands already available um, alignment which was used to be really painful to do in revit now you can do it here you can remove short segments merge coplanar faces solve adjacency and reset adjacency rebuild apertures, validate model, and then 3D preview. So let's go and do it. I'm going to show you a live demo for the Revit sample model. Okay, so here's the Revit sample. So here is the Revit sample model. Uh, you all know this. The only, uh, this is what comes with Revit. I haven't touched anything. The only thing that I've changed is in level two, I have inserted a room here and called it shaft because it's missing this room. So that's the only thing. So now this is how you will export and clean up the model uh, with the new version. So you go for the new version when it's out. Export model is the same uh, process here. The only thing here, let me change this from learning content to working drawings because the rooms are in working drawings phase. Uh, then I go here, I just select all this windows and skylights. I'll do the same with doors and then set them to the glass. Then here, this is where things are different. Before I would do set this to 3000 and then for level two, go and set it to full volume and then go edit stuff in, in, in the second level. Now I'm not going to do that. I just set this to 6000, which is taller than what it is. And then, <clears throat> All the rooms are selected. I go here. There's only one thing that I have to make sure to set up, which Revit plugin doesn't do a great job uh, on it yet, is I have to make sure the is top is top exposed set correctly. So all the ones in second level are top exposed, and on the first level, the living is top exposed. I should also adjust the base to minus 500. Again, if you know the model. The living room is just a half a meter lower and the rest. And now that's it. If I make a preview, we 
we should see the full model and the roofs are here. So we calculate the roofs for you. There is still a little bit of work to be done with the skylight. You see the skylight projection goes down because of the thickness, but that's one of the reasons it's not out there yet. The rest looks good. You see the column is here. I'm not going to remove it. I'll, I'll work with it later. So that was it. You can do validate everything, but now I'm going to ignore shades for now. Here, instead of exporting it directly, which is which we still have here, you see a new button called the snapshot. So now I can take a snapshot, and this snapshot is uh, level one and level two not cleaned, or probably not cleaned should be a description, right? This is model before cleanup. So now I can save this. And when I save it, for people who are interested to know, it really saves it as a DFJSON format file. Like it's a file saved locally. We don't save it inside Revit. We saved it on that machine. And it's linked to this model. Um, and we can talk about that or uh, why it's local. But in any case, now that I've saved that and I can have multiple snapshots, if I go to Snapshot Manager, I can, I can see it here which means I can go and export it. If you have used any pollination panel to load the model for any simulation, you know this painful process of every time you click on it, it will be next, next, next. So it will not be like that anymore. It will be, you get model and you just load the snapshot, one of the snapshots that you had. So that's the snapshot thing. You can see it where it is locally. You can click on it and it goes where it is. Um, so you can see the model and uh, this is the DFJSON model, really. But what's interesting is you can also edit this model. So I didn't do any of the editing that we usually do on the model in Revit. I can click here, and the editor opens up. It opened up in this window, so I bring it here. It will take a couple of sec seconds to load, so we just let it load. But after it loads, you can see all the rooms are here. Uh, we don't have any alignment lines yet, so they're not there. But this is similar to the table that we have. We have stories here. So level one and level two, it's similar to concept of layers. So let me just turn off level two for now. So we can focus on level one uh, and the rooms uh, here. You can see them, their topics, so all those properties are here. So now the fixing that we usually used to do in Revit or we had to go to Rhino, you don't have to. So I'm, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to Merge our coplanar faces. So just to give you a reference, you can, for example, for example, see all these small edges here. This is because how it was modeled in Revit. Or here you have like multiple selections. So you just select everything, and click on this, and done. But quickly now, if I select this, you see this is cleaned up. This is also cleaned up. Now I want to remove this. So there is this here for remove short segments. I can set it up to, let's say, one feet and run it. And it was short, so two. Run it again, and this one is done. Uh, now, my favorite alignment, which was a pain to do with uh, in Revit, we just draw a line, go make it something. So we can just come, let's say we want to align here, just hover your mouse to the middle, double click. This is the alignment line. Select this here. This alignment will show up. Uh, it's similar. It needs a value. Just put half a fit uh, because the unit is feet, as you can see here. Uh, we will support changing the units uh, soon. And I run it, and this is also done. And then I do this, so that additional point is also removed. So as simple as that. This is now done. Like if I want just to do the same alignments here, I can do this. I can select uh, all these rooms, align them. Again, I don't know if I do half, this is not going to be included. Let's do one. I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay. Done. And then if I want to see if the things that I did are done correctly, I can just click and see the model here. You know, I'm a big fan of cleaning model level by level. You can run it on. Uh, you know, on two level at the same time, but yeah, I won't do that. So now the other thing that's much better than what we had in Revit is now I can turn off, for example, ceiling 
and uh, roof here because I want to run solve adjacency. And this stays here. This filtering stays here. So I don't have to set it every time. So now I'm going to go here, back to here and select all rooms. Or I could have done select uh, active layer or current layer and selects all the rooms in that layer. And then I'm going to run solve adjacency. And I want to intersect. I don't want ceiling adjacency because it's only one floor. So I just do run as quickly as that. And then let me select all of them again in preview. And now you see the color has changed here and these are all set to interior. Um, right? And you can see interior wall is added here. So if I remove it, you can see all the interior walls. Oh, okay. This shouldn't be interior. So that's something on our end. And that's, I think, the power of this, right? I can quickly see this stuff. I can do quick. So this should be ground uh, down there. But now that I'm done with first, I can go and add second floor. It's up to me if I want the the one in the bottom to be there. I can change the visibility. They kind of like lay over on top of each other. I can also close this 3D for now if I want. Right, and then let's say for this one, I want also for the second floor to um, to align it with the same lines that they have in the first floor. And if you remember before, because the second floor is has a, stand, a slanted roof, right, like this, we usually what we do, we always uh, basically try to align this with that because we couldn't handle the roofs. But now, because we use the extruded mode to do this, that's not a problem anymore. So what I can do, I can basically go here. Let me close this. Oh, sorry. Let me go here. Select all the second floor. So I go into stories. Make sure level two is the current or active floor. And uh, I can even lock the first level if I don't want to uh, make any mistakes. And then now I can select them and I can align. Probably I should have just selected the one in the bottom, but it will be fine. And then I run it with the one as the tolerance. And you see this is done. So let me actually unlock this and select both of them and do preview again. So one of the reasons, uh, what happened? Uh, visible current, and this one is unlocked. Select all rooms and lines, do preview. So now you can see this is fully aligned and the roof was fine. The reason you don't see it, remember I did a filtering by type. So roof is here. I can bring it back. And then I can do the same on this side. So one of the reasons that we haven't released this is right now when I click on this preview, it actually sends an API call. It doesn't run locally. And I know that will be a problem for many offices for the privacy uh, issues and they want to keep the models um, inside. So yeah, that's that's basically it. I might Maybe it makes sense to show the validation. So we also have the validation. Now this model is valid, so that's boring. Uh, let's let's make something invalid. Yeah. So now if I select everything and I run validation again, it tells me that there is an issue. There are overlapping rooms. I can click on that, and it tells me like go there where where the thing is. I can click here and I can see list of the rooms that have overlapping issues. So if I uh, deselect there and click, it shows me what are the rooms that are not valid. So these two have overlaps. And of course, these two have overlaps. Surprise, surprise. So now one thing that's not great yet is the snapping. I mean, for this case, it should work. But we need more help from TL draw team to get this perfect. So you see, it's kind of a snaps, and this was fine, but yeah, like it's, it's still like we have to work a little bit better on snapping. Remember, this is not like a model builder to just build your model here. This is the model comes from Revit. You edit it here, and now that's edited, 
uh, I can do several things. One is I can save this. So that will update the, the what do I call it, snapshot. Uh, so the snapshot is updated and this is that. And then if I want, if I go back to Revit next time and I want to export it, I can export all this. And this is from my fixed model. And probably the question is, how do I update the description? We don't have it, but we will add it because now I fixed it and this, will, this model needs to clean up. So this is the model after cleanup. Or what you can do, you can also just come here and export it from here. So if I want, I can just export it and we support uh, almost all the formats. We don't support everything yet, but it's the same code. So we just have to port, so support OSM and IDF uh, and full IDF, this, we have IDF already. But then HPJSON, GEM, IMP, I, uh, and I don't know why we don't have IDM here, but that should be here for um, IDICE. So yeah, that, that's it. Then if you want to export from here, you can export too. It has redo undo. Uh, there are controls here for showing viewer, for snapping, showing the, even the roofs. So the roofs that we exported are here. It was off, but if I want now, you can go and see them. Most likely in the new f near future, you can also edit them here. So that, that also will be added, right? So you can quickly edit this roofs a little bit if you need. Um, and yeah, that I think I covered everything. And as usual, this became longer than what I hoped for, but yes, it is what it is. But like it's better to know about this stuff if if you're interested than like making it short and not talk about the stuff that we have done. We are looking for feedback. This is the right time to giving us feedback. If you even if you really want to try it on your end and this thing that things go to the internet is fine, uh, let us know and I'll be more than happy to share. It. Uh, WIP installer with you so you can try it on your end. Yeah, um, as usual, thank you so much uh, and have a great weekend. Bye.